welcome to another day of 12 days of polish today we're going to talk about polishes that kind of caught me off guard these are polishes that i either assumed i would not like at all and i did end up liking them or they are polishes that i knew i would like but i didn't realize how much i would actually like them so i have five polishes here I'm trying to shorten my videos. I don't know if you guys have been enjoying it, but I've been incredibly chatty this entire series. So if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, I guess you can let me know too. I don't know, I don't know. I feel really, really chatty nowadays. So let's just get into this. The first one is Ready or Not from Sinful Colors. This is a foil polish. It's kind of, it's like a purple, like a berry. I wanna say like a blackberry foil polish. There's some silver veining in the bottle. When I, this was a part of the Valentine's Day collection. It was called the Sealed with a Kiss or the SWAC collection. Um, when I saw this on display, I was like, uh, I don't know about that one because of the veining. I thought that that would translate to my nail. It doesn't, it does not translate to the nail at all. And and I ended up adoring this color. Um, it's so nice. It is so nice to wear. A lot of companies are not coming out with foil polishes, but Simple Colors still does, and I do appreciate that about them. The next one is a green, and I cannot believe I'm including this green because I actually ended up really, really liking it, and that is Simple Colors Queen of Green. This is another foil polish from them, but this time this has a uh, gold veining in it. Uh, I. I don't even know how to explain this. It's kind of like a grassy green. At least that's what it ends up kind of looking like on the nail. I included this in one of my recent stamping manis that I posted on Instagram. I was taking part in the challenge that Claire and uh, Polish Pony were putting on on Instagram and I mattified this and I loved it matte. It looked so good. It looked so good. So like I said, the formula was really good. It was opaque in two coats. Now we're gonna dive into some china glazes. The first one is Blonde Out. This is the white that was included in their spring fling collection when i saw that there was going to be a white in that collection i was like what are you doing china glaze why would you include a white why would you include a white we don't need any more whites however i was blown away by the formula on this it's not dry it's not chalky at the time i did say that this was a two coat white polish i don't know if i would stand by that anymore only because my nails are at a longer length now um so this is a white that will the coats that you need for this white will depend on your application. For me, this is more more of a three coat white, but I still like it so much more than the OPI one, and I can't even remember the name of it right now. But this is not chalky. It is a little bit on the thinner side, um, but for the end result, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. The next China Glaze is a red, and I'm sure if you've been following me long enough, you know which red that is. It is a flamboyant. This was a part of the Summer Rain collection, I wanna say. This red opened up the doors to reds for me, if that makes any sense. I kind of avoided reds. Not that I disliked the color, but I never felt like it would be a color that looked good on me, but I was proven wrong. This polish proved me wrong. It has a great formula. I was able to get it opaque in two coats. This is more, of, more along the lines of like a jelly formula. Um, but you guys know I like jellies, so it wasn't a problem for me. This last one is an indie polish, and it was sent to me by Jessica the Polish Queen here on YouTube. Uh, I did not know that she was going to send this one to me, but it is the mystery polish from the indie brand Polish. This is the polish that started it all when it came, when it comes to my uh, love affair with uh, Crelly Glitter Mixes. I knew I would like this when I opened the package. I knew I would. I mean, this just looks like something I would wear. However, I did not realize how much this would impact my nail polish buying purchases. I mean, it's just changed everything. It really has. I, after this, I bought my first indie. After that, I bought my first Noodles nail polish. I did my first, um, I had my first experience buying from a D stash. There are just so many memories connected to this and it kind of has sentimental value to me now. So thank you so much, Jessica. I still love this polish. I still love it. I love it a lot. So those are some polishes that caught me off guard. They definitely surprised me. If anybody else wants to do this, go ahead and do it. Just let me know. Let me know that you did it on your channel or let me know that you did it on Instagram or go ahead and let me know what polishes surprised you in the comment section. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.